Welcome back. My name is Yogaman, as you know. Um, so you could be asking yourself, what is traded in Forex? Why would you even start trading? What do you need to start trading? Okay, the simple answer that winds up everything that happens in Forex is money. It is money that is traded in Forex. Take for example, if you buy a currency of United States dollar and you want to buy it using your home currency. Personally, I'm from Uganda, Kampala, so I'll be using a Uganda shilling to buy a United States dollar. It means every time I buy a United States dollar, I trust that the dollar is actually doing fine for me to be able to buy it and get what I want to get. For example, if I'm going to go to China or if I'm going to Kenya or I'm going to any other country, a dollar will actually maintain the value that I want to maintain in the money that I'm carrying than a Uganda shilling. So it means I have actually purchased a share of the United States economy. All right, so it, take, take this as an example. Every time you buy a currency of a given country, you actually directly participating in the economy of that country. And many of you that are actually joining Forex trading, you might not know, but every time you use your home currency to buy a foreign currency, you are building or you're participating directly into that economy where you're buying that currency. So take for example, the factors that affect the money you're using to trade in Forex are actually dependent on the conditions and situations in that economy. If that economy is doing so well, you're actually going to discover that, hey, the currency in that economy is going to go up. If the factors in that economy are actually not so good, then the currency is going to go down. And that's when you know, when should I be buying? When should I be selling? So the, fa the factors that actually encourage the currency to go up uh, those that are in favor of that currency talk about stability, political stability, talk about industrialization, talk about innovation and technology. The, the economies that have all these factors put together, their currencies are actually doing well and their currencies are strong. But also there are factors like wars, floods, catastrophes, you know, all these typhoons and all that. That now affects the currents negatively. You know why? Because productivity goes low, people are no longer employed, the jobs are not there, everything is against the currents. So in that regard, that currents will go down. Now, <clears throat> the amount of money you trade in the forex market is entirely dependent on how heavy the currencies you're trading are and how good the economies of that currents are. When you talk about currencies being a reflection of the factors that are playing in a given economy, you need to remember that forex markets and currencies are actually traded on time. The way you trade currencies depends on the time, the period, and what's going around. So time is a very, very major factor. Every time you decide to put your money into forex, you are actually betting and promising yourself that the currency you're going to be trading is doing much much better and of course don't forget that when you bet against a given currency there are factors that play out so your role as a trader is to understand those factors and be able to predict accurately what will play out in the market i'll see you guys again on the next episode but hey let's keep the journey flowing